What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and in today's video I'm going to take you over to the 73 storage units that my buddy Garrett Myers and I purchased about three months ago. Now the reason I'm doing this video is when I purchased the property I told you that we were going to be able to increase rents in a big way and now only three months later we've done just that. So we're going to hop in with my chauffeur here and we're going to go and show you guys what we've been able to do with this property. Chauffeur boy, how are you? You ready to do this? <laughs> All right, let's roll. What do you say? <laughs> Open up the door. What's the magic words? <laughs> Open up the door, you idiot. Let's see how fast you are, buddy. <laughs> yeah, this was not the plan. You're such a punk. <laughs> I wish I could say that was the plan for this video, you freaking idiot. Hey, these are my neighbors. <laughs> Tell them the thing. No, no yeah, tell them the Get thing. Out of tell here. them the thing. Go on ahead and follow Yogi Myers. <laughs> Make sure you push the like button, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. Garrett does want you to do it because I do. then. I do. Why I do mean, you want? Chandler owes me a Red Bull for the one. Maybe I'll get lunch out of this one. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. It, it really would. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are on our way over. We're gonna go look at the 73 storage units that we purchased about three months ago. And we're gonna run you through all of the numbers once we get there. And if we're lucky, I'm gonna try and talk Gary into doing some more of his incredible advertisement, even though right now the storage units don't really need it, but we're gonna do it anyways. So we're gonna head on over. Cool. Show me show me the Red Bull before I'll unlock the door. Unlock the door. <laughs> show me the Red Bull. Show me the Red Bull. <laughs> Gone. No. All they had was no. vitamin water. <laughs> you didn't go get it. They had vitamin water, Chandler. <laughs> That's a 12 ounce ass for 16. Red Bull, please sponsor me. I'm not much of an extreme sport athlete. Surprisingly, I can do a backflip on a wakeboard. I always make the joke when pigs fly because I'm a hefty fellow and most gentlemen of my size and stature don't do backflips on wakeboards, but I do really enjoy your beverages. You don't have to pay me. You don't even have to give me too much free stuff. I just would love to put it in my Instagram bio. Red Bull sponsored affiliate. I consume a lot of these, probably too many, Chandler tells me, and so does my beautiful wife. I would love to store some of these at my house. If you could send me one of your nicely decorated mini fridges, that would make my year. It honestly would. I would put it, I would post pictures on my Instagram. I have almost 2,000 followers. <laughs> I can promise you it will get a lot of good use. Doesn't even have to be a new one. You can send me a used one. What is the code to get into the place? <laughs> well, screw you too, Jace. <laughs> I do consume monsters. <laughs> I will sign an exclusivity deal. <laughs> no beef with that. And Monster, if you see this, I hate Red Bull, man. I will be all monster all day. These guys. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm super excited to jump into the numbers of this property because it's been a huge value add opportunity. Now, just to put some things into perspective, when we originally got this, the rents were at $8,715.84. Now, I had my hesitations. I'm gonna talk about how we decided what we could get rents up to and about those hesitations in a minute, but we were able to raise rents in a huge way. And when I say we, that's a big W, little E. Jace is the one that manages these properties for us and he has done an incredible job. So he's been able to take units like this and increase the rents by $25 on the smaller units. It's been 10 to $15 increases. We also were able to increase the single wide trailer by a couple hundred bucks and just a bunch of you know 10 to $35 increases on all of the units. What that's done is increase the gross rents from that original 8,700 all the way up to $11,565. Now on the front end, I had some hesitations. I know Garrett was super hyped on the property and definitely saw the vision, but we're gonna talk about the research that we put into finally coming to the conclusion that we should purchase it in a minute. However, there is one unit right now that's vacant that we're hoping to be able to get $500 out of. So we should be able to get this over $12,000. Now, when we looked at these numbers, 
our original goal was $10,500. I told Garrett, hey, if we can get to there, I'm gonna be happy with this. If we can get to 11,000, I'm gonna be pumped. But to look at the fact that now we think we can get these up to $12,000 in gross rents is gonna be absolutely incredible. So we're gonna show you this other unit and then we're gonna jump into the financing and kind of the research we did to get comfortable purchasing this. Yeah. However, before we do that, I think we need a Garrett Myers advertisement. I got one. Are you worried about your steel building burning to the ground? Well, at Yogi and Chan's storage unit complex, we have fire extinguishers. Your steel building won't be burning down with one of these handy. Come rent from us. Half off. Half off. Upon a time, a gentleman tried to live in one of these units and this is where he would fill up his bath water. That's kind of a cool story. <laughs> Do you want to live in a storage unit? Take baths out here in front of the busy road? This isn't the place for you. So this is one area where I've just been blown away by Jace and the way that he manages. When we looked at this originally, we weren't sure what we could get out of the space. Now, if you remember, there's a big space here with a bathroom in the back, and then there's another smaller space over here. Do you remember what we said we wanted to try and get out of it? I think we said 1,000 or 1,200 total yeah. would be. I think we're right around there. Jace has now got it to where this unit alone is going for 1,000. And then this other unit, he split up and found two people to share it, and it's gonna be 500 each. Now, he's got one half filled, the other half isn't filled yet, but should be. And the only reason it isn't filled yet isn't because it was vacant, it was because we just got the other people out, and now he's looking for the other tenant. So that's gonna put us on these two at $2,000, which is another huge spike to it. And I know it seems like little ads here and there. The other thing that's really cool is Jace knows the market. I think these might be a little above market because he was willing to wait for some tenants, but all of these I would still say are, you know, right at market or maybe even a little below. I think we've still got another five to $10 on every unit and we wanted to do those incrementally. At the same time, it was very intimidating because when you look at it, it was just a new project for us. So we could see what we thought the market was going for, but raising them and dealing with a completely new process was something that was gonna be new to us. So it's been really fun to see them go up and we're excited about it, but we're also pumped to see what the future brings because who knows, I mean, in the next year or two, I think we could get this up to grossing 13, maybe even $14,000 on the whole property, which for us is going to be a huge win. Now, if you're wondering how we got to the point where we figured out what these could go for, Garrett came in and said like, dude, I've seen them around. I know we can get more out of these. And so I had my secretary go and literally call every storage unit place within probably 20 or 30 miles of here, like every one of them in this area. And we put them all on a spreadsheet and then we just kind of looked at the averages between them. And there are a lot that are substantially higher. I would say if we add another five to $10 to each of these units, that's where the average was at. So there are still people that are lower, some that are higher. I think our location was incredible though, especially when we looked at what was renting for what where. And that's why we got to the point where we were comfortable to say, hey, we've done our research. We know what the market rents on these are. Are, and we're very confident that we're gonna be able to raise them so that we can add a ton of value to this property and increase the cash flow in a huge way. The other thing I wanted to throw in is I give Garrett a hard time because he is much more a chill personality, but Garrett is extremely number savvy as well. Sometimes I joke around like he's an idiot, but he knows this stuff just as good as I do. Uh, yeah, so we got these units seller financed. The seller was gracious enough to finance them for us for a four year term. Uh, I think we're getting charged about 4.1% interest or something like I think that. It's four flat. Um, the reason seller finance is a huge advantage is this is a, it would be a commercial loan with a bank, which means that we would have had to come up with 30% down. 30% down on a $1.2 million purchase is a, that's a good chunk of money. The seller financed it for us with 250,000 down, which is a little closer to like 17 or 18%. And the reason that's such a massive win is we only had to come up with 125,000 each which is still a lot. That's still a, a, a small fortune, but way less than 400,000. And the reason that I'm so excited about that is I think by the time we refinance these, when we go and do an appraisal, they will appraise for enough that we hopefully won't have to come out with, come up with, I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> we hopefully won't have to come up with any more money out of pocket. And we're you know. maybe even get some back. Yeah, maybe even get some back, which would be sick. So. And just to run some quick math, and this is very like broad, our payment includes our taxes and our insurance. 
Our gross rents now, we're hoping to get them to $12,000 a month. So that puts us with 7,862 after we've paid our, and again, this was the other thing, it was an interest only loan for four years, which is beefing up our cash flow yeah. like nobody's business. Oh, so yeah. we're hyped on that. <laughs> this leaves us with $7,862. In total, I don't think we're going through $1,000 of that in expenses. Yeah, you got Jace, we pay one to two thousand dollars tops on expenses that includes getting all of the snow plowed there's very little maintenance here and then just paying jace to be able to manage all of this and that's where you're at so when you run the math on this even if we were to take two thousand dollars total that puts us at close to six thousand dollars in cash flow every single month so you multiply that by 12 that would put us at seventy thousand dollars in cash flow now both me and garrett came into this and we said we'd be happy if we could get fifty thousand in cash flow during this four-year period while we're trying to get to the point because our other goal was to have enough laid aside so that if we did need to pull any money and we could only get financing based on this purchase price that our cash flow would cover all of the rest of our down which seeing how much value we've added I don't think we're gonna need to use any of this, which means Garrett's been pushing me very hard for us to buy a boat. We'll see what yeah. happens. Yeah. <laughs> right now, we're gonna set aside a good chunk for reserves so that all of our uh, six months reserves are there, which both of us have kept in our separate bank accounts to make sure we're safe, but then we don't have to worry about keeping those. We've got them in the account. And then from that point, we can figure out what we're gonna do with the cash flow. All right, we need to roll some more advertisements for you. <laughs> I'm running out of steam. <laughs> <I'm> so <laughs> Apollo Anton Ono. A Yogi and Chan storage unit complex. Complimentary ice skating ring. Tell them Yogi sent you. Do you need your car glass broken? Well, if you bring your car here, tell them Yogi sent you. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, come on, they're waiting. It would mean a lot. Obviously, if you would like and subscribe. Awesome. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and we'll catch you in future videos after we've got Gare warmed up and he's got a little more energy for you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, so me and Garrett are in the process of starting a podcast. So if you guys want to see that, let us know. If you're sick of Garrett, let me know and I'll just start a podcast with somebody else. But if you enjoy hearing from him, make sure you let us know in the comments. Oh yeah, let us know in the comments what we should name the podcast, even though I thought we already decided on the name. It's gonna involve <laughs> barbecue food and business. <laughs> so I think naturally you were thinking barbecue and business for the name. It's very self-explanatory. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, we'll see ya.